magicians. They are some of the world's most talented people who can defy the rules of reality. In today's video, we will be revealing five of the most famous magic tricks of all time, because the need to know is greater than the desire to be fooled. Let's get started. At number five, Dynamo's famous iPhone teleportation trick. In this magic trick, Dynamo borrows a spectator's cell phone and vanishes it into thin air. He then points to the balloons right behind the spectators, does a blowing gesture to the balloons, causing one of them to immediately drop onto the floor and reveal the spectator's vanished cell phone. So, how did he do it? Well, here's the secret. Most of you might think that the two female spectators are stooges and are in on the magic trick, but that's not how it was done. Since it's a dynamo trick, the secret is not always that easy to figure out. When the performance footage initially began, Dynamo acted like he was taking a selfie with the two spectators. After taking the selfie, he said that he wanted to try something with their phone. Well, if you were to think about it, we never saw Dynamo actually taking the cell phone from the spectator to begin with. Dynamo only made us assume that it was the spectator's cell phone. When in reality, before the camera started filming, Dynamo had several different colored phones with him and his main objective was to force the spectator into selecting the yellow colored phone through a method called the magician's choice. For example, you have three different colored phones and you want the spectator to select the yellow colored phone. You tell them to select two objects and then according to their choice, you change the rules of the game. For instance, if they pick the red and white colored phone, you will say that you are eliminating these two phones and the remaining object, which is the yellow color phone, is their selection. However, if they select the yellow and red colored phone, you will eliminate only the white phone and ask them to select one of the remaining two phones. If they select the yellow phone, you will tell them that it is their selected object and if they select the red phone, you will eliminate it and the yellow phone will be the one remaining, which you will consider as the spectator's chosen object. Through this process of elimination, the spectator believes that they have selected a phone that is theirs. So, at the moment Dynamo says he wants to try something with their phone, the spectators are considering it their phone because they had chosen it themselves from the different choices that they were given. And for us, we were made to believe that the phone actually belongs to the spectator, when in reality, the phone was never their own cell phone to begin with. The purpose of forcing the spectator to select the yellow phone is because the phone that is already placed inside the blue colored balloon is a duplicate of this yellow phone. In order to vanish the phone, a small plastic suction which was tied with a black elastic was attached to the screen of the phone. Upon letting go of the phone, the tension in the black elastic string pulled the phone into his jacket right over here. He then made the duplicate yellow phone appear in the balloon with a simple setup. This blue colored balloon is not filled with helium, but is in fact held with a second invisible string attached to the top of it to make it appear as if it is floating. You can clearly see the difference between the tension and the string holding the blue balloon with the other strings and see that the string attached with the blue balloon is actually loose near the base because helium is not actually pulling this balloon up. Dynamo's assistant simply let go of the invisible string over here causing the balloon to immediately drop and pop to reveal the duplicate yellow phone. At number four, Klek Entos's imagination to reality trick. Klek Entos, a famous masked magician on America's Got Talent, begins his performance by having one of the judges, Heidi, take a paper from inside the box, and a second judge, Sophia, put five ink stains randomly on the piece of paper with the objective of creating an original random shape. He folded the paper in half and placed it in a presser. Kleck then invited Terry to join the judges to assist in identifying whatever thing or creature he sees. May it be a flower, a butterfly, or two lovers kissing. Upon Terry's interpretation of the image, he claimed to see a spider. He claimed that the box had the power to turn their imagination into reality. He then placed his left hand over the candle, causing his hand to light on fire and upon opening the box, he revealed a real living spider, which he then took out of the box in his hands, and then magically vanished the spider into thin air, 
saying that they were only hallucinating. Well, here's the secret. The image that Kleck took out of the presser was not the same piece of paper upon which Sophia dropped the ink stains. This is because a switch had taken place. When he took Sophia's paper, folded it in half, and placed it on the surface over here, we can see that the presser has a brown wooden sheet attached to the base of it, which you can easily distinguish with the presser itself. Upon placing this presser against the flat surface, the sheet is no longer visible after picking it up. This is because the presser contained a second piece of paper with the spider image on it, placed in between the wooden sheet and the presser. By simply pushing it against the flat surface and removing the presser, Kleck performed a clever switch in plain sight. So the real folded paper was actually hidden right over here. Since the image resembled very much like a spider, Terry simply had no way of getting it wrong and identifying another creature. The box, therefore, already contained this spider from the beginning. The spider that he vanished into thin air while holding it in between his hands was actually a fake spider toy. Now you may be wondering, what happened to the real one? Well, misdirection, a basic concept of magic. The cardboard box is designed in such a way that it can hide and reveal the living spider in the box by simply opening and closing the flap. So, when Kleck reached into the box to apparently pick up the living spider, he actually closed the flap to hide the real spider, and pulled a fake spider from inside his coat that was attached with a thin black elastic. Upon turning to his right, he let go of the fake spider which was then pulled into the inside of his coat. The smoke was then produced with the help of a magician's smoke device hidden inside his sleeve. At number three, Jesus Imposter Trick. If a popular magician on YouTube is very famous for his magic tricks that look more like miracles rather than illusions. In one of his live performances, he poured water into an empty glass, handed it over to the host to drink and verify that it was real water. Yif said that he was going to do magic with some ink. He took the glass of water from the host, placed it on the table and placed his hand over the ink container. Within a few seconds, the ink container vanished into thin air, and the glass of water miraculously turned into a glass of ink. Wow, that's incredible. Red dye palmed. Is that how Jesus did it? That's incredible. Well, here's the secret. Most of you might think that all this is CGI and entirely edited, when in fact, this illusion can be performed live. But there is a slight bit of acting by the host of this show. He's in fact, in on the trick, and not just standing there to witness this miracle. When Yif poured a glass of water for the host, which the host drank was in fact a real glass of water, but a switch took place with the glass of water that he was holding, with the second glass that did not contain water, rather a special solution. The switch took place when the host was not in frame. At the moment the host took a sip of water, he went entirely out of frame because of the movement of the cameraman. Yif took the switch glass of water with the special solution and placed it on the table. What happened inside the special solution was a special chemical reaction called the clock reaction, also popularly known as a Halloween clock reaction. Two colorless solutions are mixed and then after a certain period of time, a certain color change occurs. There are a lot of different variations in recipes for clock reactions. For example, in this video, a student demonstrates an iodine clock reaction that turns a colorless solution into a dark green color. This solution resembles a lot like Yip's solution. When Yip placed his hand over the ink container, he pushed it into his sleeve and produced smoke from a magician's smoke device. At the same time, was making sure to time the vanish with the moment the solution changes color. At number two, Aiden's impossible card prediction. Aidan Sinclair, an extremely famous magician on America's Got Talent, performed an impossible card prediction trick that baffled the judges. Aidan walked up to Howie, pulled the deck of cards out of the box, and showed that one card was faced the opposite way in the deck, which he then closed, placed into the box, and told Howie to hold on to it in plain view. He then asked Howard to think of anyone he would like to call. Howard chose to call his mother and asked her to think of any playing card. She chose the Ten of Hearts on the phone. 
Aiden then pulled out the deck of cards, spread through to find the face down card and showed that it was in fact the ten of hearts that was turned over in the deck the entire time. Well, here's the secret. The playing card that Aiden initially showed turned over in the deck was not the same playing card that Howard showed after the ten of hearts was selected. You can see that before the selection, the seven of hearts is right beside the face down playing card. And upon spreading the deck the second time, the three of spades playing card is beside that face down card. This is a specially prepared deck known as an invisible deck. An invisible deck is a double sided deck of cards that are stuck together and they are paired accordingly. On one side, it is all odd cards. On the other side, it is all even cards. What this deck allows you to do is have there be one face down card in the deck. Hearts are paired with spades. Diamonds are paired with clubs. All the paired cards add up to the number 13. There is a fluid on the backs of these cards that allow them to stick together. If you push hard, it looks like a normal deck of cards. But as soon as you loosen up and spread the cards, it will reveal one face down card. This is why we saw the three of spades behind the ten of hearts card. Because ten plus three is thirteen, and spades are paired with hearts. Finally, at number one, Dynamo Superman Lungs. Dynamo walked up to a random spectator, took his empty bottle of coke, and asked him to blow as hard as he could into the bottle, proving that nothing happens by simply blowing into the bottle. But when Dynamo blew hard into the glass bottle, it completely burst with his breath. Well, here's the secret. This bottle is no ordinary bottle, rather a special bottle known as a bologna bottle, which is used in science demonstrations. They are made by heating up the bottles till they are almost molten, but still hold the shape. And then you cool outside very fast while cooling down inside very slowly. This produces an enormous amount of stress in the glass. By doing this procedure, the outside of the bottle is extremely strong, but the very inside is extremely weak. If you drop something brittle in this glass bottle, it will immediately explode. So the bottle the spectator was holding was not his own rather handed to him right before the camera started filming to make it look like it was a borrowed bottle of coke. Dynamo simply placed a small piece of tungsten in his mouth then blew into the bottle causing it to immediately shatter with his blow. Which trick impressed you the most? Tell us in the comments below. If you have made it this far into the video consider liking the video and subscribing to show your support. Finally, a quick shout out to my wonderful Patreons for supporting my work. Their support is the reason I am able to constantly improve my content.